Hi friends, welcome back to Farm Girl Diaries. My name is Caitlin. Well, I got COVID. <laughs> I actually just got back from a trip to South Dakota, um, a little vacation, and I got back, got sick. Lo and behold, it is COVID. Um, so I've been sick for about a week now at this point, going on a week, not quite, well I guess not quite, probably five days at this point. And today is the first day I feel like a human. Um, and I'm desperately wanting to go outside and do outside chores. I have so much to do outside. However, I have zero energy. The COVID, <laughs> the COVID has really zapped my body of all of my energy. So um, at this point, I'm just laying on the couch, binge watching Gilmore Girls. Um, and that's it. I don't even have the energy to read, which is my favorite thing to do. So I haven't even been reading. Um, nothing. So... I'm not enjoying life right now, <laughs> but um, I, am in, I am very much overdue for a video and at this point, I don't know when the next garden video or cooking video is going to happen because I have no energy and I'm not trying to cook when I am actively sick. So I thought today we would do a video where we would go down and we would take a look at the pantry. We are at the end of the garden season. At this point, I'm ready to pull out the garden. As soon as I am back to 100% energy-wise, I feel 100% now. Um, so at least like I'm not still sick, um, but I don't have the energy to do anything. So as soon as I'm back to 100% operational capacity, <laughs> the garden's coming out. Um, we're actually in a mandatory water conservation um, restriction right now. So I can't water the garden at all. The garden needs watered. We have only gotten one rainfall in the last five, I guess at this point it's been the last seven weeks, maybe even eight weeks. And that apparently only gave us 0.9 inches of rain. So everything in my garden does need watered. Um, but we're almost at the end anyway. We're in the middle of September right now. And my first frost is typically the first week of October. So typically in about two to three weeks, I could expect a frost. So my peppers are still coming. I'm going to let the peppers go up until the frost just because for me, my favorite peppers are orange jummies and they just kind of started coming in. They don't come in super early for me. I'm not really sure why, but they're always late. They always take just a long time to kind of get going. So I let the peppers go as long as possible. The tomatoes are still going, but they are really starting to die back. And because of the lack of water, the tomatoes are not really producing good tomatoes. They're producing kind of bad tomatoes. Um, so I might pick the nicest plant and let the nicest plant stay. Um, but the rest of them are going to come out. Um, and then I do have some fall plants. I have fall zucchinis and some lettuces. I have some broccoli, but the broccoli got eaten by some aphids. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get any. I don't actually think I'm going to get any broccoli. They're still pretty small. So I don't think, I think the broccoli is a wash for the fall. Um, but I definitely have lettuce and I definitely have some potatoes coming, peas coming, and some zucchini coming. So I definitely have a little bit of a fall harvest, uh, which is going to be great. But the summer garden at this point is done. So that means the majority of my cannon is going to be done. And this was a really light cannon year. My goal for cannon is I want to kind of have everything that can. I want to have it on a two year rotation. So things like tomato sauce and salsa and <coughs> jams and jellies. Um, um, I'm blanking on all the stuff that I make right now, but I kind of want to have it on a two year rotation so I don't have to make it every single year. Up until this year, my summer has just been jam-packed with cannon. I don't get a weekend off. I don't get a weekend free. My evenings, I come home from work and I'm cannon. And this has been so nice this year. I have canned a good amount of stuff, but I haven't felt overwhelmed. I haven't felt like I'm too busy. So it's been really nice. So um, I did a couple, I did a handful of new things this year. We're going to go down to, I'm going to show you what I've done so far this year. I didn't bring you along for everything, um, but I'm going to show you the pantry because the pantry at this point is basically pretty full, basically pretty done. Um, we have a couple more things I know I'm going to do. Like I know I need to do all my Apple products yet. Um, the Apple products will be done in the next couple of weeks because it's Apple time. So as soon as I just, whenever I want to get those apples, I can get them and get that done. I'll do applesauce and an apple pie fill-in um, to start with. Um, 
And I think that's basically about it. I think I might do a couple of green tomatoes yet. I like to can some green tomatoes so that like in winter I can make fried green tomatoes. Um, green tomatoes I canned before and they hold up better the earlier you use them. So if I like can them right now, I will try to use them probably by the end of January. Any much further than that, they're still useful. Um, but kind of that pickling liquid you keep them in kind of soaks into the tomatoes and makes them a little too soft for, at least for my benefit or my taste, uh, for frying. So I just do a couple of cans. So that can be a side dish that I have kind of early winter. So I have some of that I need to do yet. Um, and I know I have um, a whole bunch of tomatoes in the freezer. I have no idea what I'm gonna make them into yet, but I know I wanna do them. And then, oh, I do also want to try, and we'll see if we get it. I do wanna try to can some whole tomatoes. Um, I did pick some tomatoes yesterday. That was one of the, the chores I gave myself yesterday. It wiped me out, but I was able to um, pick some tomatoes yesterday. So I'm hoping maybe I can can them maybe later next week into just some whole tomatoes or even some diced tomatoes um, for the shelf. But that's pretty much it. That's just, it's at this point, we're just kind of adding things that we want to add. The things that I needed to do, I've gotten done. So let's go downstairs and we'll talk about what's in the pantry and then what I've put in the freezer so far and anything else that I still need to do. My pantry is actually pretty full. I actually need to buy another shelf because I still have boxes of jars stacked everywhere because I have nowhere to put them. Um, so I need to buy another shelf. But we have filled up this pantry pretty well. I've done a lot of jams. Um, I did a strawberry jam this year for the first time. I never typically make jam. And this was the first year that I made and canned jam. I typically just do refrigerator jam. Just because I don't eat a lot of toast, um, which is what I typically put jam on. However, I really enjoyed eating my strawberry jam on vanilla ice cream. That just is like a, a kick of summer in your mouth. And I love putting jam on croissants. So I'm trying to learn how to make croissants. Um, I'm, working, I'm working on it. <laughs> so I have been enjoying my jam. And I actually started making, I found a really great recipe and a super easy recipe for beautiful biscuits. So I have been eating my jam. So that has been something I'm, uh, it's new to the shelf, so I'm excited to have it. But I, so I did strawberry, raspberry, and a mixed berry jam this year. And jam is one of the easiest things to make. Um, I will say my jam is typically not very sweet. I don't add a ton of sugar to it. I like to taste the fruit more so than the sugar. Um, but it's, I think it's delicious and I've enjoyed having that on the shelf. Um, also, come winter, when I start making my baked oatmeals, I'm going to be adding some of the jam into the baked oatmeals. I think that'll be really good. One thing I did forget this morning, I didn't forget overall, but I did forget this morning, is I need to make more cowboy candy. I only have two jars of cowboy candy left. Um, I didn't plant enough jalapenos this year. I wanted to make... So what I need to make with my jalapenos is cowboy candy. So um, <clears throat> I wanted to make a, a jalapeno relish and I need to make my stuffed jalapeno poppers for the freezer. <coughs> um, I'm not quite sure how many jalapenos I have right now. Um, I have, I, I, as I've been picking them, I've just been throwing them in the freezer. So at this point, I think I have enough for cowboy candy for one batch of cowboy candy. I'm also completely out of Cowboy Candy Marinade, which that is one of my favorite products. That's one of the reasons why I need to make Cowboy Candy because I don't have any marinade and I need the marinade. Um, so I think, that, I think the jalapenos that I have are gonna be enough for the Cowboy Candy for one year. Um, but I think I'm going to need to supplement and from the local farmer's market buy some jalapenos so I could have my stuffed jalapeno poppers for the freezer. Um, those were something that I really enjoyed having this year. They were a delicious snack. I'm not someone that keeps snacks on hand, like chips or anything like that, typically, because if I have it, I'll eat it. And a lot of times I, I, I'm just bored and I'm not actually hungry, so I don't let myself have snacks. 
So the jalapeno poppers were a great snack for me for that reason. So I could grab a couple out, throw them in a toast oven in 10 minutes. I had a great little snack. So I want to do jalapeno poppers for sure. And then I also thought I would do some onion rings, make onion rings, freeze onion rings. Um, and again, that could be another quick snack or another easy, easy, easy side. So that's something we have to do yet, but we're not in a hurry for that. That's something that can be done. will probably be done later because I'll probably have to buy, I will sure have to buy the onions for the onion rings, but I'll probably have to buy the jalapenos for the jalapeno poppers, but that's okay. Um, the other thing we did, we got our coleslaw done. I got two years of coleslaw. I have not gotten to try this coleslaw yet. I'm still wrapping up the coleslaw from two years ago and you can see the difference. I did not shred this coleslaw enough and you have like very big pieces of carrot and, and cabbage. Whereas here we really did, we at least chopped it up a lot more. So I'm excited to try this new coleslaw that is just shredded up so much better. Um, one thing we didn't do this year is we didn't can any potatoes. I still have three quarts and a pint of potatoes left over. I like having potatoes canned. Um, I do use them, especially in soups and casseroles. I do like to use them, but I do have a big box of potatoes here um, that I can use for fresh eating. So I didn't want to really can any of them. Um, but I'm thinking next year, I think I'll probably use these four cans this year. And then next year, I'll just put another four or five cans on the shelf. It's not something where I can, it's not something where I need to can X amount of potatoes. I just like to have a few on hand. Same with my green beans and my carrots. I didn't can any green beans yet. I'm still hoping to. At this point, I've frozen all of my green beans. Um, but I did can some carrots. I didn't grow carrots this year, so I did have to buy some carrots, but I did buy and, and can some carrots. <clears throat> and I do like to can some green beans. So I'm hoping my green beans aren't done. Again, everything is suffering because of the lack of rain that we've had. And I, at this point, I can't water anything. So, um, and this is what we're going to get what we're going to get. If I can get a couple of more jars of green beans on the shelf, I would like to. But I don't know that I'm going to just because they might be on the on the way out. Um, but I like doing them again for like pies. And then I like to do just take some green beans and potatoes with a Lipton, uh, what's it, like fried onion packet. And that's a delicious side, I think. That's a super quick and super easy side. One thing we haven't gotten to do yet is we haven't harvested our sweet potatoes. So these are sweet potatoes from last year. Um, so when I pull mine up, we might can some more or we might have enough that we can just kind of cure them. When I harvest my potatoes, I kind of go based on the size and how many I have. If I only have a few and they're kind of small and puny, then I might can them. But if I have a good amount and they're nice and big, then I try to cure them and eat them fresh. So... Sweet potatoes we haven't harvested yet. We'll be harvesting them probably in the next like two to three weeks, at least before the first frost. So the new that we did this year, which I'm really excited to try, I haven't tried yet, is we canned bruschetta. So I love to do cheese boards. And so I have a ton of things on my shelf that I think go great with cheese boards. We have bruschetta now. We have hummus. We canned hummus um, back in the winter, I think. I had, again, I've yet to try this. So I really need to open up a jar and try this. Um, we have some onion jam. That goes great with white cheddar and a cracker. Delicious. We have our jams and our jellies. I think strawberry jam, again, white cheddar goes great. Um, we have our whole grown pickles. Um, and then cowboy candy is also a good thing to put on a cheese board for people that like spice. So at this point, I'm really excited that I can kind of come down here and make my own little cheese board. I think I have a lot of materials now to make cheese board from or to make a cheese board with. <laughs> we also have apple butter. I made apple butter last year that I'm really, really enjoying. I have two for six quarter pints or six half pints left. So I might do some more of that this year as well. <coughs> Another new thing that we did that I didn't bring you along for yet, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to bring you guys along the next time I make this. I wanted to make it first, see if I liked it, and I do. So next time I make this, I'll bring you guys along. This is Vidalia Onion Jam. 
and I am really enjoying this. I just had it on a minute steak last night for dinner. Um, it's just a beautiful yellow jam. Um, put it on burgers, put it on egg and cheese biscuits. This is really, really good. So we're going to make some more of this. I only have four quarter pints left. Um, so when I make more of these, I'll bring you guys along. I think that's about it. That's a lot of the newer things that we've done. Um, a little bit of the stuff that we still need to do, but everything is pretty well filled up. We have our barbecue sauce. This is our Chipotle peach barbecue sauce that we made last summer. Um, this is Ina Gartman's barbecue sauce that we made over the winter. So both of those are still good for the next two years. This is enchilada sauce. Uh, so you can see we have probably a couple of quarts back there, six or seven quarts back there. We made that last year. So that I'm really excited that that has lasted for two years. And I make a lot of enchiladas. So I think I made like 15 quarts. So I looks like I'm using about six quarts, six to seven quarts of enchiladas sauce a year. So I'm really excited for that. I think I made this last batch too spicy though. So I do need to make sure I use this up so I can make another batch next year that's not as spicy. Um, but everything else is kind of pretty good. We made zucchini relish this year. Um, my French onion soup has been holding up. I've actually been saving that for when I've been sick. But um, we're going to start eating that because I don't actually get sick that often. I say that and I think I made three videos where I've been sick. It's been a... I actually had to take some medicine recently. And I think the medicine that I took um, for my knee, I think actually like kind of shut down my immune system a little bit so I gotta boost it back up so I'm actually gonna start juicing um and kind of getting back on my normal regimen to try to like boost my immune system back up because I typically don't get sick <laughs> so I was kind of saving that soup for when I got sick um and I have been eating it and I have been eating it since I've been sick but um it's no longer gonna be a just when I'm sick food it's gonna be a, a food that I eat all the time um so everything else is looking pretty good. There is a hole down there. That is curry sauce that I made last year that I actually don't think I like. So um, I don't really want to make any more of that this year. I'm okay kind of letting that go. Um, and that'll be a spot for something else. Um, and then over here we have all of the tomato soup that we made this year. Um, and I do need to make baked beans. Baked beans can be a winter project though. I have one, I think I have one pint of baked beans left. So I do need to make some baked beans. So that'll be a really good, um, winter project that we'll do together. But for right now, I feel like we're doing pretty good. We have, um, a full pantry to the point that I need to buy another shelf, um, because I don't have enough space. We've either filled in the holes where we needed to fill in, or we are still working through that two-year rotation. So at this point, so at this point with my pantry, I like to look through everything and say, okay, like my enchilada sauce, this is now a year old. And for me, canned stuff can last for years. Um, I have stuff in here that is three years old. My zucchini relish, for instance, I think I have the quart, the quart I have upstairs is three years old. Um... I have, sure, I have a couple other things that are just here and there. But as a general rule of thumb, I like my canned stuff to have rotation of two years. So I kind of come down here, I look and I say, okay, here's everything that we have that is a year old. My barbecue sauce, my enchilada sauce. <clears throat> and so, number one, I know going into this winter and into what I'm making and what I'm eating, I know what I have to pull from. The Chipotle peach barbecue sauce. I know that we need to do some meat some barbecued meat um this coming winter um i know like i have hot dog sauce here that is already a year old it's going on two years old that's a meat product i definitely want to say nope we got to use you up so i have four pints of that left so we'll use that up um so i just like to go through and then plan what i'm eating based on what is already over a year old number one and then number two when I start my seeds for next year, I kind of know what I need to buy, what I need to start. I mean, not buy, but what I need to start. So I know that next year I have a good amount of my hot pepper mustard left. This is, um, I made this in, oh, this one is already two years old. Oh, oh, okay. No. <laughs> I have, I'm like, oh, this is all two years old. I have three, yeah, I have three pints that are two years old. Um, 
so these need to get eaten up again and see they're two years old and they're fine um but i will make a point to eat them up this again is another thing that can go in teaspoons really good dip pretzels in it really really good but i'll know that next year i need to plant some peppers so i can make more pepper mustard um i did make a new batch of pepper jelly this year this is actually like really it it's not as set up i didn't add as much pectin as i should have it does set up in the fridge <laughs> i did check i thought about opening and then recanning it um but it does set up in the fridge but i definitely didn't add enough pectin but it's fine it like it's i promise it sets up in the fridge <laughs> <clears throat> um, but I did some of that this year. So I know next year the peppers that I grow can go towards the pepper mustard. Um, <clears throat> I know that if I don't do any green beans this year, I need to get green beans on the shelf next year. Um, so it's a matter of kind of like working through your pantry, um, using up what you have, making sure that you use it up because you don't want to do all this work and then not use it. Kind of let it all go to waste. So it's really good to kind of start using things up um, and then planning for next year, planning for okay, here's what I know I need to start enough of. Here's what I know I need to grow. Um, and it's actually exciting because I'm now in this two year rotation. I typically grow between 15 and 20 tomato plants each year. I've done all my tomato products for two years, but I don't need to grow 15 to 20 tomato plants next year. I could get away with growing maybe like five for fresh eating and then for maybe some new canned recipes that I find, but I don't need to grow the amount of tomatoes that I currently grow and that get, means I can have space for other things um so I think that's exciting so um I just want to touch base everyone do a quick video show what's going on in the pantry um the pantry is full we are almost done canning like I said I have a few things that we need to do yet but none of that is really kind of dependent on the garden at this point I either need to supplement from the farmer's market or it's something that we just are going to do in the winter anyway that's not a big deal um so it's been a really good garden season. It's been um, light on the cannon end. Um, I haven't felt like I've done a lot of cannon, but I'm looking around and I can see I've done pepper jelly. I have done tomato soup. I have done zucchini rot. Like I, I'm looking around and seeing all the stuff that I've done and I've done a lot. And I'm, uh, like I said, I still have apple stuff to do, but aside from that, we've done a lot and we've done really good. Um, but at this point, I'm ready for the garden season to end. I'm kind of ready for a break. Um, my garden right now is completely wild and it's actually stressing me out a lot that I can't be out there right now. It's a gorgeous day outside. It's finally fall here and it is a gorgeous day and it is a perfect day to go outside and reclaim my garden. Um, but I just, uh, th this video has already exhausted me. Like we're going to go sit on the couch at this point because I'm just exhausted. <laughs> um, but I'll get that reclaimed soon enough and then kind of get everything put to bed kind of just wrap up this garden season. I'm wrapping it up earlier than normal. Like I said, I do still have stuff out there, but I typically don't put the garden to bed this early. I'm still trying to normally um, squeeze out as much as I can. But at this point, with the lack of water, with the amount of weeds that we have, um, it amazes me that like nothing can grow without rain except for weeds. Weeds can grow regardless. <laughs> so that's the only thing that's really growing in my garden successfully at this point. Um, oh, I did forget. We do have tomatillos. So my tomatillos have just started to come in, um, in a big batch. So I'm hoping this week to, I do want to make a tomatillo, uh, salsa verde. So that's one thing that I still need to do yet, um, for the shelves, but we're wrapping it up and I'm excited. I'm ready to kind of relax. I'm ready to kind of put this to bed and I'm excited for that. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to go sit back on my couch and watch some more, some more Gilmore Girls. I've been binging Gilmore Girls for the past five days. <laughs> so I'm going to go binge some more Gilmore Girls. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, friends.